Okay, my name is Paul Kenny Carson and my dummy name is Sweet Johnson. Now in 1976, I was at my house in Los Angeles, California, practicing over some songs and jokes one Saturday morning. And I opened up my mouth and said, Lord, if I deliver the word you give me through this dummy here, man might take heed because he don't believe man. And I know there was a true statement, but I said, well, I do it later on in life. Now, 15 minutes after I said that, the Holy Ghost came up on me as soon as I said it and said, you said it, now do it. That thought kept going through my mind. So I got up to try to get away from it. And I went out of the back door of the house and I had a lock on the garage gate. I lost the key. So I got a hatchet out of the garage and came out there and started beating down on that lock with that hatchet, trying to knock it off the gate. That hatchet came off of that lock now, still on the hammer, with my hand wrapped around the hammer of it. I didn't have no control over my arm at all. It came right around there to my arm. It, 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 it did what? About an inch. It, it hit you in the heart? It didn't hit me. It came right around there to my heart and stopped about an inch and let me look down and see it and touch me softly as a finger and went out of my hand with great power and force. Now when that happened to me, I went down on my knees and I said, oh Lord, my God, and I remained there five or six minutes. Then I got up and looked at that hatchet laying over there on the side. Three things went through my mind. The first thing said, hey fool, this is the master. The second thing went through my mind. If I wanted to take in your life, I could have done it right then and there. The third thing went through my mind. What you said in your house about delivering the word that I give you through that dummy there, you get on it and don't waste no time at all. Now the word that the Lord impressed upon me in 1976, 36 years ago, to go from state to state, city to city, town to town, to get out there on street corners, wherever people may be, and let that dummy warn his people that our Lord and Savior is coming soon. And if they have not accepted him, don't waste any more of their time. So I'm gonna let the sweet pea tell you what the Lord. All right. Yes, the Lord is coming, and it ain't gonna be long. And those of you right out here today that wake up now, turn unto Jesus, you can be called up one day to meet him. What did the Lord say? As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be right out here in the day, in the day of the coming of the Son of Man. Didn't he say that? Yes, God he used an ark back then, but he using a dummy like me right today to warn his people of the coming of Jesus. Now let me tell you the reason why that he using a dummy like me. People have been told all of their life in this nation here about Jesus. And you know this dummy ain't telling no lie. And 80% of them have denied God's word to continue to live in sin. And God know for a fact if I'm able to tell them about Jesus dying in their place as their personal substitute to provide them with a way to be saved, and they're going to laugh and giggle at what I say, it ain't no hope for that type of man or woman. There's no one else left that they will believe. So what's going to happen? They're going to continue doing what they're now doing and be caught in it and be laughing. Yes, the Lord is coming, whether they prepare themselves or not. And I tell anybody, when God's word says something in that last book of the Bible, let this dummy tell you revelation, and you have seen it with your own eyes and heard it with your own ears, don't you call Jesus a lie and continue to live in sin. That's the time to repent. God revealed that to you because he loved you. He's not willing that none should curse. Now let this dummy tell you what the Lord revealed to my friend here over 25, nine years ago. That first piece that is stated in chapter 13 of Revelation, the 18th verse. Rollo Wilson Reagan. You got six letters in Rollo. Letter dummy tell you, you got six letters in Wilson. You got six letters in Reagan. That's the mark of the beast right there in chapter 13 of Revelation. Another point that the Lord have revealed. He said one of his seven heads was wounded unto death, and the deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Now everybody saw when Reagan was shot, let this dummy tell you, and his press secretary, James S. Brady, was shot the same time that Reagan was shot. Where was Brady shot? In the knee, in the back, in the neck? Let this dummy tell you, he was shot in the head 
unto death and was healed of it. He living right to daybreak. That's God's word. Now there's two major points that God have revealed from his written word the, over 29 years ago to this nation to let them know that it's time for them to wake up, repent, and start a living of godly and a holy life. Now a third point right there in chapter 13 of Revelation. They shall make unto themselves an image of the first beast. Now everybody saw, let this dummy tell you, when Obama revealed a statue of Reagan to Miss Reagan up there in Washington, D.C. Ain't been over two years ago. That's God's word now. Let this dummy tell you. Three major points right there in chapter 13 of Revelation, which the people of this nation have seen with their own eyes and heard with their own ears. And if they're going to call Jesus a lie and continue to live in sin, let this dummy tell you they ain't going to make it. They're going to be left right down here in this thing and up. And it ain't nothing on this earth, let this dummy tell you, worth going to hell. But look around you. Everything out here is here today and gone tomorrow. And as a dummy, I know this to be true, and able to tell you these things as a human being. And many people talk about what must they do to be saved. Jesus done it all. All you got to do is accept him and believe in what he has said and done. And you got eternal life. You got forgiveness of your sins. And Satan got them right out here today. Now, let me give you a good example. People throughout this world, no matter what race or nationality they may be, they use God's name in vain. That GD and that SB, just like taking a drink of water, cussing God and Jesus out. And God gave a commandment. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. And he gave it to me. Now the devil have deceived the whole human race. This is Satan's kingdom, this earth. It ain't nobody in heaven cussing God out, let a dummy tell you. They're giving God and Jesus Christ praises and thanks 24 hours around the clock. They're only doing it down here. The devil have deceived the entire human race. I don't care whether they speak Japanese, Japanese, Korean, Spanish, Italian, or whatever. They cussing God out using that GD and that SB. Now let this dummy tell you what the Lord have revealed to my friend. To get out here and reveal it through a dummy like me. If you got the cuss, why don't you say devil damn? You ain't never heard the word devil damn before. So that go to show you how the devil have kept this whole human race in darkness ever since Adam and Eve sent it right up to this very day. Instead of using Jesus' name in vain, that has me. Why don't you say devil bitch if you got the cuss? You ain't never heard the word devil bitch before. See, that go to show you how Satan have kept this whole human race in darkness right up to this very day. And if they don't wake up, he's going to take them to hell the very same way. He come to do three things to the human race, the devil did. He come to steal, kill, and to destroy. What do you he think? don't want you to go to heaven. For regular he people, though? For regular people on the street or living their lives, like, what would your main message be if you, if you, if you just see me walking by? And you got one shot. I'm driving by, I'm at a stoplight, and, and you got one shot to give me this message? Well, let, let, let this dummy tell you exactly what I was saying. Jesus loved you. He have always loved you. He died for you to provide you with a way and a method to be safe. So don't reject it anymore. Because if you do, you're going to be left right down here in this thing and of it. Jesus said, I came that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. And he came and he paid that sin debt in full. He was your personal substitute. He died in your place. And if you're going to deny him and walk over his blood, crumping it under your feet to continue to live in sin, you're going to be caught in this thing and left in it. Don't let the devil cheat you out of eternal life. The life you living in that body, let a dummy tell you, is a physical life. And you know I'm not telling a lie. You're here today and gone tomorrow. And, 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 and Jesus made this type of statement. He say, fix not your eyes upon things that is seen, but upon those things that is unseen. Because everything you see is here today and gone tomorrow. But that which is unseen is going to be there for eternity. God want to give everybody a glorified body. And what is a glorified body? Let, me, let, let this dummy tell you what it is. A body that never gets sick, never gets tired, live for eternity. That's a glorified body. All right? A mansion of your very own. He didn't say a room house apartment. Jesus said, in my father's house, there are many, many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you so. 
He said, I'll go and prepare a place for you. You're reaching people right now. You and see, she, she just was taking your picture just now. And that place. And he's getting ready to come one day soon to take his own out. And every day he goes by, he's getting close. Do you have like an email or a website or anything where people could get in touch with you if they needed to? No, I don't have nothing like that. But many, I, the Lord put me out of here 36 years ago, and I have been all around this nation. This is my <clears> third <throat> time going around. And people all over this nation have come out with their video cameras. And they wanted to video what I had to say, and they put it on the internet. So yeah, that's your I way. think it's on the internet. That's now. your way then? That's your way to the internet. Uh, is there any Penny like Carson, any poor Penny Carson. Poor Penny Carson. Dot com. That's uh, they, they, they got don't got it on the internet. Poorpennycarson.com. Uh, right. Thank you so much for your okay. time, man, and best wishes okay, to you. Thank you. Best and wishes. it was nice meeting you too, bud. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you. Any final thoughts? <laughs> I, just, I was just running by and just saw him. Good that's stuff. <laughs> good stuff. Good luck out here, man. Really. And that's